Hey everybody, welcome back to My View on the View, the radio broadcast. I am your host, Envy OTV. Thanks for joining me. This community here on YouTube is for folks like me, those of us who are still hanging in there watching this doggone show every single day. No matter what people say, we are not turning back, okay? And so we get together and we just talk about any and everything surrounding the show, even the daily show. So come on in, let me tell you what I thought, and I can't wait to read your comments. Come on in. Well, guys, thanks for being here. Hope y'all are having a great day. Shout out to all of you who are off work today. Mm-hmm. I'm jealous of y'all. I'm jealous of y'all, but I ain't gonna hate. I ain't gonna hate. Tomorrow's my day off, so <laughs> I'll be I'll be uh, the one that everyone's jealous of. So, guys, listen. I have to say that I really enjoyed today's show. I really did. It was fun. I laughed a lot. You know, I know a lot of you were watching the White House correspondence dinner. I've not watched any of it. So the only thing that I've seen of it is what they showed on the show today. But I will go back sometime this week, probably on my now designated news day. (laughs) And I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. And then I will catch it back on YouTube. But I got to tell y'all, I, I too didn't know. I mean, I, well, I guess I take, I was going to say, I didn't know that, um, Joe was so funny. President Joe Biden was so funny. But that's not true. When I think back on different um, interactions that he had with uh, President, former President Obama and the kind of bromance they had, you could see that he definitely was a cool dude. You know what I mean? But let me let's just let me let me go back. I'm getting ahead of myself. The ladies looked absolute. Well, let me be specific. Whoopi, Sarah, Anna and Sonny looked fantastic today. Um, I thought that they uh, looked well rested, even though they partied all weekend. (laughs) They looked great. Um, It was good today to see them all laughing together and enjoying, you know, having had a girl's night out, even though it was work because Brian Tedda was there. Y'all remember (laughs) they showed Brian was the designated purse holder. Isn't that how it goes for all the guys that are listening? You know, your wife or your girlfriend, you know, even if it's your sister, you know, you go out with them or something and they say, okay, we got to take this picture. Could you just hold my purse? (laughs) And so uh, it was just really, really fun. And then there was another person from The View there too. I forgot his name. It wasn't Rob, the one we normally see was another uh, gentleman. Um, But so it was work for them, but it was fun. You get what I'm saying? And so you could tell or let me speak for myself, I could tell that they literally enjoyed that night, you know, um, and guys, that's what it's all about. You know, these women do to a certain degree have a serious job. And so it's just great to be able to, to know that this is work that we're doing, but we can drink, we can have fun, we get to meet people. Um, I'm sure that they had a fantastic Uh, even more fantastic time than they told us. If you've been on any of the women's social media, you've seen the pictures they've been uploading and um, it looks like a fabulous time. Now, I will say my favorite part (laughs) of their conversation about their, you know, them attending the White House Correspondents Dinner. By the way, for those of you who haven't seen the show yet because you're at work, Whoopi wasn't there. She didn't go. And of course, Joy didn't go. So it was Sarah, Anna, Alyssa and Sonny. And they showed a beautiful picture that they took together uh, on the show. So listen to Sarah. (laughs) Sarah and Anna, this was my favorite part of the show. So uh, the clip is rather long. It's about, I think, about a minute and 50 seconds, but we can do it. We can do it. Come on, guys. Let's take a listen to Sarah. And President Biden shocked everybody because he was that funny. But take a look. You say I'm ancient. I say I'm wise. You say I'm over the hill. Don Lemon would say that's a man who's prime. I want everybody to have fun tonight, but please be safe. If you find yourself disoriented or confused, it's either you're drunk or Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> I had a lot of Ron DeSantis, Ron DeSantis jokes ready. After his re-election as governor, he was asked if he had a mandate. He said, hell no, I'm straight. <laughs> I'm straight. I'll give you time to think that one through. Last year, your favorite Fox News reporters were able to attend because they were fully vaccinated and boosted. This year, 
With that $787 million settlement, they're here because they couldn't say no to a free meal. (laughs) So you all... So you all were there. So how how was was it in the room? Did you have... Kareem Jean Pierre at the post. You were dancing with Kareem Jean Pierre, trying have been to get her to dance. With her and like, it felt so <laughs> familiar to me, and maybe not so much to her. But <laughs> everyone handled it beautifully. But um, I was wrapped around a lot of people that night, and it, that was sober. Okay, so next year maybe maybe there will be a restraining order. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you may not get it. And there may not be a next year for me. <laughs> I, listen, I actually um, first I thought it was a beautiful evening, and it was really nice to be with. Yeah, so, um, (laughs) you know what I love? I love how um, very often when Sarah is telling us about her therapy and uh, she always talks about, here recently she's been talking about the fact that um, she and Max, um, you know, they, they, well, she said this for years that they go to therapy together. She has her own therapy sessions, but then they have their couples therapy that they do, uh, which I think is fantastic, um, for a couple to do. Even if you're not having problems, um, I think having a therapist on speed dial <laughs> so that, uh, when you, uh, when you guys come to those kind of conversations or disagreements where it's like, We can't get past this. So we need a third party, someone who's not on your side, someone who's not on my side, but who's on the side of what's right and the health of our relationship, um, having that person. So I love how self-aware she seems to be at times. And I always have to say this. I don't know Sarah, just like I don't know any of them. So just because people portray one thing doesn't mean that's how they really are. Um, But based on what I'm seeing on the show um, from time to time, I I really enjoy that because she said, if you you were watching this morning, remember when she said, you know, I'm a hugger anyway, but she said, I know I do it more when I'm nervous because it's like that connection point. A lot of people would not even be aware of why they were doing it in certain situations, but she, she is. And I I just think that's wonderful. Um, Roy Wood Jr. was very, very funny. Um, When they showed the clip of Brittany Griner and Biden at the dinner, I almost cried. I almost cried, y'all. I was like, oh, oh my God. Now, whether that's hormones, <laughs> the pauses, or if that was just because, oh my God, you know, it was just so great to actually see her there. You know, she's been out home for a while and, you know, I, I know there was something else that happened and I saw her and I was like, I almost cried because it's like she could have died over there. They could have tortured the girl. Oh, my God. So um, it was just great hearing Sarah talk about how she just walked up to her and hugged her. And uh, by Biden saying, which what is true, that so many of us had prayed for, for Brittany. I know I did. And so, um, yeah, it was just great. Like I said, Roy was very, very funny. I don't watch The Daily Show, but I know on Sunday, a lot of you were saying in the comments, you know, that you enjoy him on The Daily Show. And of course, at the end of the show today, um, the women recommended that he be the permanent host over there. Um, I definitely think because I used to watch from time to time. And when I say watch, I mean, watch back on YouTube. Um, I used to watch from time to time when Trevor Noah was uh, the host. Um, I definitely think when you are you got to have a comedian in that seat. You know what I'm saying? But you got to have a conscious comedian. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't know. Cause I know Leslie, Leslie, I forgot Leslie's last name. I know she guessed, guessed it. I know. Oh my gosh. Anna's friend. Legazam. I can't pronounce his last name. You guys know who I'm talking about. He's guested. I don't know who else. Um, but Whoever they choose, like I said, I just think it needs to be someone who um, who's who's there for more than just a check. Let's just put it that way. And I think definitely just from what I saw of Roy uh, Wood Jr. today, he would be great. Um, now, um, they, of course, talked about Sonny's book, which comes out tomorrow, May 2nd, Summer on SAG. And um, she got a whole segment, as she did before. When Whoopi's book came out, when Joy's book, Joy's last book was The Great Gas Bag. Um, you know, they, they do that. They give them time to promote their projects, which is always good. When you have a job that allows you to promote your outside projects, I, you know, this is really cushiony for these ladies. They have a lot of perks that come with the job. Um, so comes out tomorrow. And don't forget on Wednesday, May 3rd, uh, she and Joy are going to be doing a book talk, 
uh, Joy's going to be reading a portion of her book um, uh, there in in, in uh, New York. And then lastly, I will say, this is what I was thinking today. You know, even though we are now nine months into season 26, my thoughts about Alyssa have not changed. You want to know why? Because I've not seen any change. Oh, I've heard a whole lot of stuff. But I've also watched consistently, um, I've watched her consistently flip-flop on her race (laughs) when it was convenient. I've seen her um, let little things slip out here and there. Like one time she was like, oh, this is my favorite such and such. And then the guest asked her a question about it. This was some months ago. A lot of you who were watching daily like I am, you know what I'm talking about. So she was like, this is my favorite such and such. And the guest said, oh, uh, what is such and such? The guest asked her a question about the thing and she didn't have an answer. She was like, well, and so then it was kind of an embarrassing moment because it's like, you know, don't lie, girl. Don't lie. But, but you know, anywho, this is something else. When they talked about how they, they were like, Alyssa, you know, Dr. Fauci is like in love with you. Let me tell you something. Can't nobody tell me that that girl, when she was in that White House, that she wasn't flirting with all those men. That's why he loved her, because she would come to work in these short skirts. And God only knows, she may have had her her blouse, you know, unbuttoned to the third button. Okay, and there may not be there may not have been full on affairs, but there was a lot of flirting going on. Um, uh, I personally believe Alyssa has gotten where she has gotten in her career by um, catering to um, by flirting with different men, by. Uh, showing lots of skin. You know, there are a lot of women who do that. I mean, it's not unusual. I mean, it's been happening for centuries. Um, Some people will never cross the line, but they get as close to it as they can. And so when they were, even Anna was like, yeah, we were all like Alyssa, you know, like they, they saw how enamored he was with her and she's not, and this is just my personal opinion. She's not a beautiful uh, woman. She's not even, I would say pretty in my opinion. Um, So what else was he, and and, you know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. So maybe he did thought, think, she was beautiful and pretty and all that. But no, it was more than that. It's just what those men said. <laughs> those men who came out and said, how dare she, when all of us know she never even deserved those jobs because she wasn't qualified for them. But also she was flirting with everybody. I mean, and again, it wouldn't be, she wouldn't be the first woman. I mean, um, to, to, to move forward in her career by doing that. Um, um, but you know, I, I just believe it. Now I know some of you are going to try to, um, tell me off because you don't think I should be saying this. And I would just say, just, just be sure to respect that we all have a right to our own opinions and you don't have to agree with me and I don't have to agree with you, but I do have a right to say on my broadcast what I want to say. Um, and I hope everyone can respect that. I just don't, I I, I don't want to see her next season. I feel like, like we were talking about on Sunday, unless they're going to go back to the show being, the view, meaning the view in, in the sense that, okay, we all, this particular group is going to stay together for the next several years. And the view we each have is because we are literally from different generations. If that's what they're going to go back to. Okay. Like I said to y'all Sunday, I'm cool with that. I am perfectly cool with that. I think that's great. Cause that's kind of, we cut our teeth on the show being that way, right? Y'all right. Um, but unless that's what they're going to do, if they're going to try to continue the political view, the view being different political idea uh, ideologies, guys, I'm telling you, I'm not going to find next season interesting if she's still there. Um, not that I need somebody who's cantankerous and um, chaotic and all that, but there needs to be someone at the table, actually maybe two people um, who can actually give us different viewpoints. Let's just say it doesn't have to be a Republican viewpoint. What about the progressives? You know, what about, you know, um, you know, the libertarian view? What about, you know, Sarah is an independent. And I guess you could say to a certain degree, she represents the independent voice. Well, no, because I'm an independent. And I wouldn't say that Sarah, when it comes to political things, that she represents my voice. I don't know. Those of you who are independents, you can drop down in the comments. Let me know how you feel. But um, what I will say is, You know, we just need, we just need something like today was great and fun because for me as a viewer, Anna was there and they had a great guest today. I really, really enjoyed him. I don't know much about Roy at all. A lot. Thank you. Uh, A lot of you were telling me in the uh, comments that, um, 
he was not the one who um, brought back up that Bill Cosby stuff. So thank you guys for that. Um, but outside of having a great, great guest, you know, and having some really good, good stuff to talk about, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, so we'll have to see, guys, if going into next season, they're going to do something different. Um, like I said, they're just going to have to not with all these people throwing their hat in the, in the, um, in the ring for, for president and vice president. Um, not to mention who, whatever else elections are going to be going on around different parts of the country. We, we just can't continue like this. Not with someone who, I mean, she, she's doing what they want her to do. I suppose. No, she's not. Because I, I was thinking this morning of a clip that I have from earlier this season. A lot of you who aren't watching every day, you won't remember it. That's why I, I saved certain clips, but she said, before she answered her question, she said, I know, you know, my job is to present the other view. And I, I screamed out, yeah, so why aren't you doing it? So it's not that she does not know what she was hired to do. So I don't know. Maybe this is just a good year for the show to take down this, the temperature, for them to have someone there who's easy for them to get along with. And um, in terms of conversation, easy for them all to run over. Um, but next season, when all this stuff ramps up politically, if she's going to be there, she's going to have to do something different. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, they, they're going to have to have a stronger uh, vo Republican voice at the table. Um, if not, I just can't see how I don't see how they're going to how this is going to go, because the rest of them, excluding Anna, are, are Democrat. You know, they lean more left. Even Sarah does. So they're going to all pretty much be agreeing with each other. Um, or maybe not. I don't know. It's going to be very interesting for us to watch um, how this all plays itself out. So guys, thanks so much for joining me for today's talk on the show. These are, this is my view on The View, uh, my thoughts on today's show. Uh, it was really, really fun. Listen, The View Your Deal, I, um, I'm going to order because I've heard they had another product on there a week or so ago that also uh, releases mist in your shower. Did y'all see that? And so they had a, another brand on there today. And each time Sarah said, oh, I have these. And um, Greta said she has them and they're just fan. It was one, and, and Adam, Adam Glassman from O Daily, he also said he uses it in his shower. So I think I'm going to order that today because, you know, you have to do it within 24 hours to get the discount. I can't remember if they said that was free shipping. So do any of you ever order any of the V or Deal items? Let me know. So far, I've, I think I, I ordered uh, fingernail polish. I, d I didn't too much care for it. And then I ordered some compression socks um, once. So this will be my third item to actually order. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for being here. I enjoy talking to y'all about the show. Listen, we are all different. We all see things differently. Um, I'm going to do my best to not try to tell you what you should think about anything or anyone on the show. And I'm just hoping we can all just kind of have that mutual respect for each other because we're not going to always see things the same. We're not going to see the ladies the same either. So anyway, guys, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Joy will be in the house or maybe not. Maybe Anna will be there again. Are you guys seeing the trend? We're seeing um, Joy sometimes not be there on a Tuesday, too. So I don't know. Will she start taking off two days? Uh, I don't know. We'll just have to see um, how that goes. Okay, guys. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.